What's up, y'all? It's Jay Cuddy, and welcome back to some more LA Noir. Now, last episode, it was a fairly fast case, but we're moving on now, and we'll see what we got ahead of us. Let's get right into it. House of Sticks. All right. Just like the three little pigs. Am I right? <laughs> California Fire and Life. Do you want to talk to Mr. Jack Kelso? Our brother in arms. Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. Wait, wait. Am I being Kelso? No way. There's no need to come into the office, Ms. Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. Am I being Kelso? I don't accept the what settlement. do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case file. If I'm, if I'm being Kelso, that's crazy. I know it's going to flip like that. Agent Fields Development. I could save all year and never Select the corner of the ledger. There's got to be more in these files. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. I'm sorry for your loss. Mr. Gorge Walter's cranium was shattered probably when he struck his head on one of the roof beams. He sustained significant internal injuries as a result of a falling timber and died of internal hemorrhage approximately 10 minutes after the initial roof collapse. Okay. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. Disputed claim payout. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong. Action to you and Buck Walter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Kind of have yes. to. Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans mm. whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Okay. You see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso. We spent four years there. I know I know a little about Ellis Island. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Ms. Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Miss Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address? Not the phone number.
Hmm. Oh, no. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. We are being Kelso. Oh, Holy up. shit. All right. How the tables have turned. Visit Curtis Benson's office. Do you think this lipstick's too light for my complexion? Man. Please tell me Kelso's gonna... You know what? This is no battle I mean, Cole got karma coming to him, but, you know... <laughs> is, Cole, is Kelso really gonna... I got a you know, call back for that universal chorus line. Hook up with her. I mean, that's Cole's, like, interest, I guess you should say. It's not really his wife or girl... Well, or his girlfriend. I mean, I guess you'd say it's his girlfriend. Mr. Benson? You wanted to see me? But he, oh, yes. he's still Jack, married. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa cool. Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Hmm. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. So I see what uh, uh, Cole is doing, though. He's making serious accusations. She says the these this this so like this company girl, Jack. strung out might be a better way to, to go after Elysian. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money. Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. All right. Cole's having Kelso do his dirty work. Nice stroke there, idiot. I don't know how to golf. I can't talk. Thank you. Kelso is living it. Damn. Might be I might, might be liking Kelso a little bit more now. <laughs> Kelso ain't out here cheating on his wife and getting with a jazz musician from the blue room and letting down his two little girls <laughs> then getting demoted to arson desk. I don't know. Maybe I'm starting to like Kelso a little bit more. All right. Elysian Field Site, 11.27 a.m. Hello. Anybody I can talk to here? Let's walk in here and look at people's shit. <laughs> Cement delivery receipt. Portland cement. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Ah, okay. Frank Otorja. <laughs> I don't know how to say that name. Cheap cement. This is not good for a lesion here. Delicious Bulldozing order. and starting again. So the section one nine one part one sec subsection A of the California Building Code hereby orders that any building work at the Normandy Avenue subdiv subdivisions associated with the incident of 01281947 be immediately demolished and building material removed from the site. Okay. What about this? Frank Monroe, Osterman, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Delays will not be tolerated. Uh-oh. Seems like that, Kelso. Alright. 
Any more stuff here, or is that it? Hey! You just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso. Oh, my. From California Fire and Life. Joe. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. Hmm. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter. And you deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. Oh, wow. I came to see the Damn, house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Kelso. You, you, you dog you. You don't take no shit. Place falls the down, and then they bulldoze it. Elysian Field here? House. Fields House. Jeez. Can't we talk about this? Not for construction. The early bird gets the worm, but the second mouth gets the food. This nothing? Hello? Guess it's nothing. This guy must have escaped from the loony bin. <laughs> Your life, Buster. Let's try to piece this together. Piece what together? I saved the whole year for that car. Keystone Films. Keystone Films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? <laughs> yeah, that is pretty weird. That's like not good wood at all. Oh shit! That dude's trying to kill me now. Kelso, run! Oh my, this dude's crazy! <laughs> oh my! Holy shoot! I guess I, I guess I should just keep on running. I don't think I should stop, should I? Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. We gotta run. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna run. There's no point in looking back and shooting at the man. No point at all. Holy moly! This is crazy. On Jack. No! Ah! <laughs> uh. All right, I think I did enough. Run! Oh, shit. Jack. Run, Jack, run! This is not a fight you can win. Holy moly. Let's get out of here, Jack. Shit's crazy down here. It's different. You got people trying to kill you with bulldozers out here. Stop rushing. Shut up. <laughs> oh, Susie, you are so bad. <laughs> okay. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is... 658 North Wilton Place. Is there right. anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. All right, let's go investigate Keystone Film Studios. Let's go do it. See why Elysian Fields is buying their lumber their cheap lumber. It's probably reason why, it's for budget reasons. 
at Keystone Film Company, 12, 11 p.m. Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Hmm. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a hmm. housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Okay. Should be easy. Bam. Easy enough. You know our man Kelso got the hops. The athleticism. What's this? A film thingy. What are you doing? Should we go all the way back? All mean bill with government money. The GI bill is government money. There's a difference. What? There we go. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. We're pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor, District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament yeah, there's that are doctor. often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Here, here, and it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? You cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise three billion dollars. I need to find a game well or a mm. telephone. My, my. Well. It's always all about the money. Operator, Los Angeles Police Dispatch, if it's not too much trouble. Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to 
listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh -oh. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Lou Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around 9. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Auf Wiedersehen, Mr. Kelso. Thank you. I don't know if Kelso's going to give up this case. I don't know. I don't know. The Blue Room, 9.04 p.m. Are we going to see uh, Phelps in here? Oh, there he is, right there. And don't suppose I'll make a plea Cause, baby, you know I'm guilty Out goes Phelps. Wait for it. Wait. I was I was gonna say out goes Phelps and in goes Kelso, but are they both coming in? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you He's snap jealous. me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's plan. not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can That's you how cool is. Is. Elsa, I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Hmm. That cherry power. Still Kelso. All right. Investigate the Legion. Fields Housing Development. All right, let's go do it. Back here, Elysian Fields site, 19, 8, 9, 18 p.m. Jeez, must have said 1918. This ain't no year. It's the time. No entry. Well, I have a feeling we're going to enter anyway. Switch. Nice wiring job, fellas. <laughs> Keep them in the dark. Jesus. Just comes right off. Please, nothing jump out. that noise you lose something Mac I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths uh oh looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up get on with it what's your hurry Mac you got some place to go 
You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Jesus. Let's put a few gaps in that side. All right, Kuh, come on, go. Oh, okay, good hits, good hits. I'm about to break the goddamn jaw. Ooh, ooh. I'm about to go, ooh. Don't worry, buddy, I'll lay you out quick. Oh my, they're jumping in, they're jumping in. Oh my. Was I supposed to lose that? I'm pretty sure I was. Yeah. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Uh oh. I wonder if I could have beat them. I probably could have. But, you know. They were hard. Not gonna lie. Get out of there, Kelso. Sure, he turned up all right. Well, that's cool. The other line. He He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduced themselves. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Oh, it's Monroe. Yeah. I know a good place. I pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. Uh oh. It is getting heated. There you go, Kelso. Good stuff. Elsa. Run! Get in a vehicle. Woo! You don't have to tell me twice. Ooh, ooh, there's a vehicle over here. Sir! Oh, he's cutting. He's cutting houses. He's cutting houses. Official flower business. Get in, Kelso! Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I can't! Ooh. Oh my. Where's my gun at? Oh, I mean, if they're kidnapping me, I'm pretty sure they took all my weapons, so... Only times we need a gun. And the only time we need a car is when no cars show up. I'll outrun them. Oh my. That's your car unlock, stupid. What oh! The city owns the cops. I need to find out something. Now it's me getting chased. Holy oh, shit! Oh! Oh my! I said use alleyways and like back streets to get to her. Uh oh, they're cutting. They're cutting through. Woo! This is gonna be tough. Oh my god, they want me dead. There's one pursuing me already. Oh my. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm keeping my eye I'm keeping my eye on the map though. Oh nope, we're not good. I <laughs> repeat, we're not good. All right, all right, all right. I think I got away from... Nope, he... Nope, they're pursuing. They are pursuing. All right, good. They turn, they turn. Idiots. This is the most adrenaline-hyped mission I ever played. 
Oh my. Okay, okay. Please turn left. Nope, he turned right. Okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh my. Okay. Whew. It's kind of old Cole's fault, isn't it? May have brought him into this. Oh my. My man's busted up. So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole? Oof. For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance! Oh my. Is that the end? Oh my, that's the end. That was uh that was really short. 37 minutes. Case closed. The truth is out on it. A legion feels despite Leland Ramon's best efforts to bury it. Okay, well we're gonna go we'll go another case. Let's do it. That was that was very short. 38 minutes? Holy moly. War flashback. Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire team's checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. <laughs> Hogan, boom. Weapons company. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogan, boom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them we in We are there. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up. First fire team and flamethrowers, head in. Hmm. Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. Uh oh. A polite invitation. You know, the more we're going into the story, the more I'm not really liking Cole very much. <laughs> I'll be honest. Hello, Miss Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? 
He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join in. It's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. Was it worth it, Cole? Hmm. I wonder. You Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink. Then they buy you dinner. Then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? Well, all right, we're still Kelso. Hey, Curtis for Vincent the patch, Princess. It might be the only R and R I get for some time. I mean, Kelso is a player. All right, let's go pay Curtis Benson a visit. If I remember correctly, I think that's his boss. Oh, he skipped your destination. Was I always able to do that? Now, was I always able to do that? Or th th am I just taking the opportunity now? 9.40 a.m. Curtis Benson's apartment. Holy mammoth, that is a badass apartment. Here we be. I don't know where he lives. I should have looked. I mean, it wants me to go this way, so maybe this over here. Open up. It's the police. Oh. It was right. Jack. It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed, and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up, or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Mm -hmm. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Oof. Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Get pistol whipped, bitch. Was there a female here? Is that why you said all that? Yep, there definitely is a female here. Okay. All right, can't go in there. Something on here. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? To get share, all of the stockholders and follow the paper trail. Is that it? There you go. Okay. I'm 
insurance agreement. I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Now I know why. Get out while you can. Mm -hmm. Just reading that. I'm reading that song bit so I can get a little bit of information. Is that all? Alright, I can talk to him. Yep, there's a girl here. How old are you, princess? Sixteen. Mister? How old are you really? Nearly thirteen. <clears throat> you take love where you can find it as you get older. <clears throat> That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. So I find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. Beat his ass that very pleased. Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? District attorney. Get dressed. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. And he buys me nice things. Get dressed. You're leaving. Hmm. Beat his ass, please. She will only come back. <sighs> oh my god, dude. That's so fucked up in so many levels. Jesus Christ. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. Mm-hmm. Sick bastard. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. Okay, okay. For a thousand suburban cheers. Each made out to Curtis. I sure if I used to be made out to Rancho. What is it with you people? How can you live any better? You already have houses, cars, yachts. Greed and avarice are very powerful forces for change, Jack. Combine that with the city's desire for progress, and it's a very heady cocktail. You need to be a very special man to be able to resist that. Mm. Oh, shit, got that wrong. Suburban Redevelopment. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. Hmm. God, I don't know. I'm kind of... A little lost. After using intuition, it, oh my. I'll ask the community a little bit. It's a lie, okay. It said, it said 83% got it right, so. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? It's this one, isn't it? Rancho Escondido yeah. burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. <laughs> Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lickman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? The inferior, the inferior lumber? I only approve the reports, Jack. I'm the uh, rubber stamp. 
That's probably a doubt. This doesn't come back to me. It's probably a doubt. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your mm. card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. All right, yeah, so I messed it up pretty pretty big, but once you bring in Phelps, the best detective, it's over. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not good at using Kelso. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Excuses. It's, it's the same concept. I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I feel more confident when I use coal. <laughs> Don't mind the uh, failed cases that I've done in the past. Uh, for you, fire and life, 10, 10 a.m. Nice achievement. I'm just going up to my office party. Got to check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, but thanks for reminding me because, you know, first time player thing. Thank you. I'm pretty sure he said first door to the right. <laughs> we about to find out. Oh, I think it will be a door with Jack Kelso. Yeah, so we're fine. You look like you were a big pain in the neck. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? Improved Insured land replacement value. value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is $3,500. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. Damn. I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Hey! Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more correct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. I'm sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields developments? I ran it somehow. Flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. Mm hmm. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying, or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I Help know you, me. Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that metal on Sugarloaf. The metal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you can turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. 
Mm. Well, let's do it. All records, 10.24 a.m. Let's go. Okay. Did they fix the chandelier that I broke? <laughs> nope, they sure didn't. Hello there. You need some help there, sir? The land registry office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. Just up the stairs. Thanks for the specific uh, location. Oh, oh, okay. It's just right here? No. Private, private. No. <laughs> Which way? All right, over here. <laughs> I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. All right. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. Southern Film Casting, right here? Oh no, okay. Mm. Oh, I think I saw him over here. Yep. Right here. Yep. What? This is not. This is them, isn't it? In the world? Courtney. Courtney Sheldon? For God's sake. What's he got to do with this? Oh, my. I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. I'm pretty sure you need a way to help me out, sir. I believe that is in the Wilshire area. Here. Oh, no. Don't make me do it. 34 degrees. 4 minutes. 29 seconds north. 118 degrees. 17 minutes. 58 seconds west. No. <laughs> oh, you gotta remind me, Kelso. I don't remember all that. God damn it. 34.4.29 latitude. And I'm looking for 118.17.58 on the longitudinal axis. All right, wait, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. God damn it. Okay, okay. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 go. seconds north. Lot number 1876988. degrees. I got it. 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. The lot number is 1876988. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. <laughs> Registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. No, there I can't add. Entries to a book. <laughs> oh, so no. Divide your lot number by 90,000. Uh, math? Ooh. 1876988. Divided by... 90,000, hey. yes. <laughs> Remind me. You, damn it. I should have wrote this down. <laughs> oh, I don't have my phone. Remind me. Remind me, please. Remind me. <laughs> oh, my. No, go back. 
Oh God! One eight seven six nine eight eight. One million eight hundred seventy-six thousand nine hundred eighty-eight divided by ninety thousand. Stop! One eight seven six nine eight eight. One eight seven six nine eight eight. One eight seven six nine eight eight divided by. One eight seven six nine eight eight divided by ninety thousand. Ninety thousand. Yes. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. That's ninety thousand, correct? What do I do now? All right. Twenty. Twenty. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. 21. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? Right. God. Right here, the U. Let's see what the side is worth to them. Oh, God. I don't know. All I know is that ends with 8-8. Eight, eight. One, eight, seven, six, nine, eight, yes, eight. I found it. Right here. The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? I don't know. Oh god. Run, math genius, run. You know why I plumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys, you do your talking once the smoke clears. Yeah. You ain't catching me this time, fuckers. Who's next? Who's next on the white list? Good hits. I sure did. Now you're gonna pop a shot again, fool. Throw out the guns. Woo! They shoot the genius? No! Not the genius. How long do you think you can hold they, out? They shoot they did! No they didn't, no they didn't. Okay, okay. Okay. I don't think they shot the genius. You're just firing rounds out of nowhere, bud. Christ, just missed. Oh. Oh. You know, I thought you could hide there. Your, sh your whole shoulder was exposed. Finally, I cleared those punks out. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Mm-hmm. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. Well, That's there's the morphine. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. Bad houses. I turned a mistake into something beneficial, something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. 
They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Oh, I bet he Father's wishes. A doctor, a good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Yep. House's apartment, 6 p.m. Hey, nice fit. Oh. Answer the telephone. Jack Kelso. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. Uh -oh. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize don't that mind I that. can make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. <laughs> I wouldn't trust it, Kelso. Good night, Mr. Monroe. I would not trust it. All right. So, because the apartment is 7 p.m. All right, I guess we're heading over there. A little early. Leland Monroe's Mansion at 11 p.m. I appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. It just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Let's do this. I'm ready. Where's Mr. Phelps, bro? Do we just go ahead and shoot? anybody bam dead, dead, dead. any Tommy's laying around stay down damn it real quick Hold Damn. the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. Let's do it. Throw out. Oh man. Woo. Is that it? I've got the shotgun in case there's any more close calls here. Hey. 
think that's smart. You're a very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? I just want to shoot me, then regret it. Like, what? I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. <laughs> Speak Monroe, it like you mean it. Where are you, damn it? It's a big house, man. Who knows where he's at? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. How long do you think you can hold out? Hey, that's Cole's line. Don't do it. You already know what's going to happen if you pop out of there. Yep, okay. Don't listen, huh? They're going to peek from corners right now. There we are. Jack Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Good. Who you crazy son of a bitch? How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. No, thank you. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. Yeah. That's my second <laughs> offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Nah, I don't care about the freaking newspaper. What's in here? That's a hell of a Roy Earl. See, he was a part of it. Freaking knew it. We got, I mean, first we all could have known that. I'm guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. What is this? Mm. Roy Earl. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. Is that it? Was oh, there more to this or is that it? Like, here, camera, have a look at it. <laughs> Hiccups. Yeah, I think that was it. Okay. Fair enough. There you go. Sawyer. Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would Morelli. go to. Morelli. There we go. Man, let me just see. If it's not, I'll just edit it out. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Life, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Hmm. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Manu. Oh, no. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. 
I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, Courtney. Oh, no. All of your troubles are finally over. Oh. Let them go. Let them drift away. Man. I got 2020 vision or some shit. It can't be stopped, Council. I had to see that. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy. Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Hey. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <clears throat> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Oh. Former patient. <laughs> so that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He, he did whatever Fontaine asked. He, he had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and, and then he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name. Uh -oh. He walked into Bugsprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor. No, you don't deserve one. Good work, Kelso. That's the end of the case. I, I, I think we're nearing the end here. We're, we're nearing it. We're getting close. I found all clues. One out of three. That's the suburban. Find this dismantled the old-fashioned way. Okay. Well, we're nearing the end. I can feel it. But I'm in the video here. You guys got a nice little two cases. And we're nearing the end here. I feel it. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Give me a like, comment, and subscribe. I love each and every one of you. And always remember to love yourself. Cut it out.